morning. Welcome to Ainsley News. It's Thursday the 10th of June. Today we're talking China and its PPI near an all-time record. China sent a shockwave warning of potential trouble ahead with the worst PPI or producer price index, also called factory gate inflation, since the GFC. Coming in above already high expectations of 8.5%, the 9% print was also just shy of the all-time record of 10% during the GFC. However, the kicker was that CPI only rose by 1.3%, which was less than expectations of 1.6%. The difference between PPI and CPI is the greatest since 1993. And so this means Chinese factories and manufacturers have been absorbing these input price increases without passing them on to the consumer. Yet, the external pressures on China are rising with their being the recipient of a lot of the free money being created out of the world central banks, finding its way to buying their wares and putting these sort of pressures on pricing. Their share markets are also amongst the worst performing of late, and the yuan too is losing value more than any other in Asia. Last week saw their 10-year PBOC bond yield surge the most in six months. Perfect timing, or another announcement about banning crypto maybe. So what does the world's second biggest economy do with all this money coming into the country? As you can see, they've bought more gold via imports in April, 112 tonne more than any other time since November 2019, and near highs in silver as well, at 359 tonne. Here's that Chinese gold imports chart here. For perspective, and Chinese silver following it just here as well. As a reminder, it was only a few weeks back that Chinese credit impulse print turned negative, sending a shock to analysis about the health of the Chinese economy. The chart we're going to show you here shows this with a 9 uh, nine month lag charting off the PPI, which of course just got worse. Here's this credit impulse turns negative chart here for you, so you can see that for comparison since back to 2005. Well, there we have it. Short, sharp news today for you. Interesting news from China. Remember ainsleybullion.com.au for all things physical, ainsleywealth.com.au for all things cryptocurrency, and goldsilverstandard.com. For our own crypto, built and backed by Ainsley, hedge to the real gold and silver price. We'll catch you tomorrow for end of week news.